Some of the challenges for us this year, obviously, um, you know, the, a lot of the, the top competitors are running, you know, V8s. And right now, you know, our setup is flat four, turbocharged, um, you know, horsepower, torque, you know, those type of things are gonna be definitely be a challenge. We chose the FRS because it's the car to get this year. And, uh, you know, the car being released, but we were fortunate enough to get it uh, early. And, uh, you know, it's a very exciting project for us. We're looking forward to a great year this year uh, with Scion Racing Grady FRS. Um, the team is excited. Uh, Ken is very excited. Uh, we hope to do well this year. We're here with the Scion Racing Gretti Performance Products Scion FRS and uh, now that I've driven it a few times I can give somewhat of a feedback but I can honestly say that this car has a great platform for drifting. It's got probably the best wheelbase for drifting I gotta say. I mean it's not too long and it's not too short where it's gonna be qu too quick and too snappy. The way the suspension is designed is it's designed in a way where you can get the most amount of grip and traction mid-drift and that was the one thing that was that I was concerned about before I was able to see this car. It was kind of like a, a two-stage build because they wanted to introduce the car at Detroit but at that time it was nowhere close to drift spec. It was more to introduce the, the concept almost. So a lot of things weren't FD legal. So once it came back from Detroit in January, that's when the build really started for us. So, you know, we didn't, seems like we had a long time to, to build a car, but at the same time with a lot of things going on um, and keeping it top secret, um, the build, um, I say maybe about two, two to three months. Um, it was a time frame that we had to work with. Because the car is so new, a lot of the parts are not available for this car. So you know, even today, we're kind of fighting for to get some spare parts to make sure that we're good on um, Long Beach. But uh, others, we have to just fabricate. And once we got, when, once we got the car in, back in September, it was just a shell. No suspension, no engine, no transmission, no diff, no glass, no windows, you know. So, you know, all that process was definitely uh, challenging. But at the same time, we, we have, you know, we had a blast and, you know, we're looking forward to an exciting season. 